SMT Nation, we back. We got an update out of Verizon, and this was just published to their news center. I think I caught it in some tweet on Twitter. So anyways, I'll uh, I'll link that in the description, and you guys can check it out on your own accord if you like for more details. Uh, but it is dated from today, July 18th, 2022. Time of this recording is about noon in the p.m. Verizon adds spectrum for faster speeds, better performance, and greater availability of 5G UW. All right, now... um. This is pretty major. All right. This is something for you as the network tech enthusiast to get excited about. But also, I think for the Verizon home Internet customers, as well as the mobility customers, this is going to be welcomed capacity. All right. Here are the highlights. Verizon has started deploying with 100 megahertz of C-band spectrum in many markets across the U.S., a significant increase from the 60 megahertz it has deployed in 5G marks to date. Now, you're increasing the channel bandwidth from 60 to 100. You're increasing that by about 67%. That is a sizable boost of capacity. In my testing here in the Cleveland market using Samsung gear, Samsung radio gear, we're seeing on average about 350 to 400 megabits per second. When you're within a reasonable range of the tower site, you get a little closer. It can be faster. You get a little further. It can slow down a bit. But like 350, 400 megabits has been pretty common. Uh, five, 600 for more of the higher end speeds. I think my peak tests have been in the upper 780s. I think one test I got like 805. So it really just depends on the backhaul, the fiber that they run in terms of capacity, what they could do with it. But if you're going to go up this sizable amount of spectrum, we can ex- start to expect to see very commonly, you know, 1.2, 1.4 gigs per second, right? 1400 megabits per second is probably going to be pretty common. All right. So this is something to get excited about. Uh, Now, this isn't the end of the story when it comes to C-band for Verizon. This 3.7 gigahertz spectrum, their portfolio includes national holdings between 140 and 200 megahertz. So there is still more spectrum that's going to become available. This appears to be that they have just early cleared additional spectrum from the B block. And that's allowed them to widen the channel. All right. So in terms of the detail of the article, like I said, you guys can check a lot of this minutia out if you like here. But from the EVP and president of Global Networks and Technology from Verizon, Kyle Malady, he's quoted as saying, the increase from using 60 megahertz to 100 megahertz, which we will ultimately have available in many markets across the U.S., allows us to support more network traffic deliver even better performance to our customers, and add new products and services on top of the mobile and fixed wireless access solutions we provide today. Reaching new levels of innovation and digital transformation in our society requires a fundamental transformation of our networks our world runs on. The continued evolution of our network is paving the way for this tremendous growth. All right, so there you guys have it. They got this upgrade. They have early cleared more of the spectrum in more places you can expect to see a sizable boost in capacity availability. I think this is going to be most meaningful to home internet customers, obviously. It may become more available in more places. And for those of you on the mobility side of things, you know, if you're starting to see any type of bogging down of the network, even the 5G UW, right, being limited to 60 megahertz, less than ideal when you own 140, 160, 180 megahertz, 200 megahertz. To give you guys perspective, my market, has 140 megahertz of C-band. We have 30 megahertz of CBRS. There's capacity that is available. They're, they're going to layer this capacity in a lot of different ways. Uh, they didn't disclose where this is happening, but I can tell you guys right now from the technical aspect, it all depends on your market and the radio gear that is found in your market. For example, my market is Cleveland. And in our PA, this is PA number 14 and the surrounding counties, we get Samsung gear. They are not ready to go 100 megahertz. I can tell you that right now. It's not happening here. If you are in an Ericsson market, so that would be in places like California. That would be places like Florida. Texas, I believe, is also... No, Texas might be Samsung. All right, so don't quote me on that. But I think I think New York is Samsung. Okay, so it really just depends what type of gear is going up in your market. If it's Samsung, you're not going to go 100 megahertz. It's not happening. Maybe by the end of the year, if you're in Ericsson market, you could get this update. It's it's obviously something that's happening on the firmware level, the network level. Um, I know that there are a lot of, uh, you know, engineering pieces involved there, like transmit power and 
you know, testing and, and, and EIRP and, and RSRP values, it, it's, it gets technical, but I'm just letting you guys know if it's an Ericsson market, you're a go for this. If it's a Samsung market, no go for this. So there are probably going to try to early clear places that are known to have the Ericsson radio gear. So just throwing that out there, it's important to note, uh, you know, otherwise you can expect if you're a Samsung market, expect it later. Uh, thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT nation, let your voice be heard. Big deal. No big deal. You guys happy about this? Any customers out there looking forward to this? Anybody out there in a market that needs this? Talk to me. All right. Like, share, subscribe for more. And turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter handle, my Gmail address for business inquiries, and my Patreon page if you want to support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.